Bravo Von Mueller Chronicles number 38. Mr. Rivalwick is in contact with Donald Trump and gold travels east. Master Bravo here to relay the latest intel. Again, Mr. Rivalwick is in communications with Donald Trump. The reason for these communications is to discuss a hard landing or a soft landing. I hope I don't have to explain to the evangelicals the difference between a hard landing for Trump on his head or a nice, gentle, soft landing on the golf course peddling gospel revivals between cities to cities. Now, if you are new to this channel... I realize that you are too lazy or too busy to go search for my Mr. Rivalwick Great Reset video series explaining how Mr. Rivalwick is in the order. So let me make this very quick for you. Mr. Rivalwick is in the order. The order is the world's governing authority, like a referee between world powers. The Illuminati and the criminal state gangs fear only one entity, and that is the order. The order has the power to shut you down in the blink of an eye. So, Again, Mr. Rivalwick is now communicating with Donald Trump. Things will change quickly for Trump. For all you Q fanatics out there, buckle up and put your seatbelts on because this is going to be a hell of a ride. Now, Mr. Rivalwick has the power to bury a shitload of gold under any one of Trump's golf courses. All he has to do is agree to a soft landing and do as Mr. Rivalwick instructs. The chances that Donald Trump cooperates is very, very high. Trump's only request is that he is allowed to continue to milk the evangelicals like a golden cow to the promised land. Mr. Rivalwick has no problem letting Trump separate the evangelicals from their filthy cash. So now, on to our next order of business, the transfer of gold to China. China has the approval stamp of the order. You should already know this by now. It's old news. The order takes on the responsibility of supervising the transfer of gold from one superpower to the next. As the world's governing authority, this is one of their most important roles. It happens about every couple hundred years or so. This power goes back over thousands of years. No one dares challenge their authority. They supervise the gold transfer from the UK Empire to the American Empire from the late 1930s all the way into the 1950s. The American Empire had the stamp of approval from the order back then in the early 1900s. This was when we were good people. We are no longer good people. This is why the transfer of gold is heading east.